Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org with a video tutorial for the new Boston. In this example application, we're going to be creating a form field that allows a user to enter a username, which is then checked uh, against the database values uh, in the users table. So over in my uh, database, uh, if we just go over here, uh, you can see I've created a data the database called jQuery and I have a table called users. Um, I've got some randomly generated usernames uh, based on names and numbers uh, and there's 60,768 of these uh, so we have a lot of data here. Now our goal in this tutorial is to create a dynamic username checker which checks a username as the user is typing it and tells them if it's available. So uh, essentially, essentially we're looking through a large group of data uh, and we're going to show a very brief loading uh, sign or a loading text uh, as it's searching. Let's just say we had uh, a million records in a table or in fact we had uh, let's say you know, this amount of large text. Uh, we could go ahead and I you could go ahead and implement this into other uses for example uh, a search engine or, or, so or something similar. So our basis of this is searching this table dyn uh, well, using an AJAX call, a post HTTP request, to check if a username uh, is available. So this is our uh, document. Uh, I currently have nothing on the page. Uh, let's just take a look at the files that we're going to be using. Now users.js I've included on my page uh, and this is going to be uh, the essentially the basis of our application. We're going to have uh, a check here uh, that will check on a key up event for the username in the database. It's going to send an HTTP request to this username check file just here uh, and this username check file is going to return whether the username is available or not. db.php is just going to connect to our database. So inside index.php let's go ahead and set this up. The first thing we want to do is create a form field. So this is a text input type and we're going to give this an ID of username. Now I'm going to place a span next to this uh, with a relative ID and this is going to be username status. Now what's going to happen is as we start typing into this text field here, let's just go and preview it in our browser, as we start typing into here uh, our span is going to first of all show a short uh, loading uh, symbol or you could incorporate an image into this. Then what's going to happen is we are going to display whether the username or is available or not inside of this span. And that's going to be handled by users.js and obviously like I've already said it's going to call username check to actually perform the uh, background server side processing in PHP. So the first thing we want to do is check that a key has been pressed down in here or a key has been pressed down and has come up. So for example that would be a key press or a key down uh, but the keys also come up so we're checking it on key up uh, just so we can return uh, an absolute value. So we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, we need to use a selector to select uh, this username ID so we use hash username then we say dot key up so we've created the event handler just here and inside there we want to create a function and this function is going to run when a key is uh, up so we can test this by just saying alert um, and uh, just say key up for example so let's go over to our browser when I type a key down uh, as the, my key comes up we have this uh, alert box uh, to alert us that uh, an event has happened as well as a backspace as well that will show the same thing. So now that we've done that we can go ahead and the first thing we want to do is grab the username from this field. So the field is called username, we've given that a, uh, an ID of username. So we can use the same selector uh, or we could use this uh, dot val which would be a, a lot more efficient and appropriate. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and alert username. So the username variable in JavaScript will now contain the value of this username field here, uh, which is the field on our page here. So now that we've done that, we're alerting out the username. Let's go ahead and test that out. I'm going to type A. You can see that's relayed A back to us. I'm then going to type L. That's relayed that back to us. So we're getting an absolute value uh, of anything we type into here. And let's just get rid of that. 
Okay, so now that we've done this, we need to go ahead and change the uh, username status span to loading. And then immediately after that, we're going to use the post uh, HTTP request to check this username check file. And we're going to be uh, connecting to the database as, as well. So we're going to go ahead and change the username status span. And we're going to change the text of this to searching. Now this will only be briefly shown, however like I mentioned earlier if you had a lot more records uh, than this or you had some large text uh, it might take a little while longer. Sites such as Twitter use a check uh, similar to this uh, and obviously it takes a lot longer despite them having millions of users uh, it takes slightly longer to actually check whether the username is available.